Well, straight from the NBA rumor file, um, I don't know if this one's ever been told. It's probably been, but I heard this from NBA players. <laughs> yes, sir, Rebob. We will not be naming NBA players, but those who were in the know, this is back in a couple of days ago, too. Um, I mean, they're not in the league now. So, that rest assured that's gone. <laughs> Their playing days are over, but still, we will not be mentioning names. <laughs> but from what we heard, when Michael Jordan was playing, in order for him to come back and play, because the thing is, when they signed Michael Jordan to be general manager of the Washington Wizards, he was very adamant at the fact that he wasn't going to return to the court. And they they was like, okay, well, let's give him a year, and then we'll see what Michael wants to do. Then it, that turned into, well, maybe Mike don't want to come back. You know, and they, they were okay with what was going on. He traded away Jawan Howard. Mitch Richmond, he came in there and had a talk with him and, and the rest of the team and basically cussed them out. And he was like, don't think I don't know what y'all doing. Y'all quitting on him. Like, y'all quitting on the team. Y'all quitting on the coach. I can see it out there. Y'all quitting. And then Mitch Richmond told Mike, he's like, man, you want to make us better? Why don't you come play for us? And then he traded Jawan Howard. And Jawan was the highest scorer they had on the team and was doing everything right. But he traded uh, Jawan Howard. And everybody's like, how you going to trade Jawan Howard like that? And he's like, man, I knew people was, like, heads was finna roll, but I ain't know our heads was finna roll. <laughs> like, Jawan, he's like, I thought Jawan was gonna be here. Like, Mitch wanted to go somewhere else anyway. And that's when Mike like, look, y'all want out. i get you out. Because when he got there, he's seeing all these guys who are paid way too much money. So, and Mike ain't just finna just come back on the court with a bunch of guys who overpaid. He was not going to come back and play with Jawan Howard, Mitch Richmond, all them dudes. And they laying down. So Mike had it in his thing. When he came back, he started working out with the team, practicing. But he still ain't made no decision. But the team was kind of getting the inkling, you know, inclination that he wanted to play. So when he told him that, you know that they how would it go if he wanted to come back like how would they be able to pull that off man okay somebody was just sending me something but mike wanted to know how would how would that go the process of pulling that off so because he had part ownership and no owner could play on on the team that's just not gonna happen so they said, well, A. Pollard was like, hey, Michael, if you want to play for the Washington Wizards, we can make it happen. I'll talk to my lawyers, and they'll come up with something. And then they, they said, um, you could put the your ownership in a trust, which it would go to a family member. So you can go and play basketball. And they basically got anybody they could to run the team while Michael Jordan went ahead and played. But there was also a, a clause in the contract that was for Michael's protection. Like in case after the two years is up, his contract and Michael decided he wasn't playing basketball no more. Because the NBA basically forced Michael Jordan out. Like, look, after this two-year deal, that's it for Michael Jordan. He's got to go now. The league is ready to go without him. So, once Michael Jordan, you know, did his whole retirement thing and going out on his terms the way he wanted to go out, and he was like, he's through with playing basketball professionally, he, it was a clause in there saying that if he didn't go back as general manager, they had to pay him off. They had to pay him a certain amount of money. And the ownership agreed. Now, 
the NBA players told me it went a little different than that. And I was like, what? They was like, Michael Jordan gambled away the ownership of the Washington Wizards in a very high stakes poker game. I said, get out of here. <laughs> he was like, man, I swear, everybody told me. He's like, they suck at Mike at an all out poker game. And he said, man, Mike, you wanna, Mike wanted more ownership of the team. If he came back and he said, Mike, I'll give you this much and we gonna, we'll put it all on the line in the middle of playing poker. They was playing high stakes poker all night long, hours of the day, and it got down to those execs. And he said, Michael, I'll make it happen. But if not, and you lose, I'll pay you out your shares. You got to sell me your shares in the company. And then you gone from the Wizards. And Michael went for it and put that up as collateral and played him and lost his shares. So Mike had to get bought out. And I said, that's just dumb. I, <laughs> I can't buy that. <laughs> but this is NBA basketball players. But I'm like, what would they know about what the inner circle? I don't even know if they played for the Wizards. They might have before they got out. It was, what, one, two, three. No, one was retired before they even had. And another one, he probably did. He was on the bench for a lot of teams. But still, come on. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just Google their names and see if they play, what teams that they play on. But who is going to let you in on a secret like that? Like, man, they told me this. Man, everybody talked about that, man. Michael gambled away his shares. Then, you know, they probably don't know anything. So, y'all tell me what y'all think. Do y'all think that's possible that Michael Jordan could gamble away his shares to an NBA team for more for more ownership? Now, what's weird about that is that he did pull the same thing in Charlotte. So, let me not forget that. Michael pulled the same thing in Charlotte. He wanted more ownership and more shares in the company. And Mr. Johnson was like, yeah, we'll talk about that later. Then he started saying, man, there is no money in this team. I'm getting out. And he ended up selling his shares to Michael Jordan. Jordan bought him out like, I'll buy your shares from you. And buy you out. I want to out, outright own this team. And he's like, you're going to be losing money. And he's like, I know what to do. <laughs> so Mr. Johnson got out. And sold his shares to Michael Jordan. So Michael Jordan probably wanted more ownership. And so, so there might be some truth to it. But I doubt Michael gambled. I, Michael's, I think he's too economically smart to let something like that happen. I think he got the right team behind him. But it's your boy Carcino, man. I'm out telling everybody thank you for following me. It's a lot of people who are even impostering my accounts, which is crazy. Like actually taking my videos and putting them on their YouTube. It's nuts out here. So <laughs> thank you guys for following me and staying up with me. I'm still rocking with y'all. I'm still staying up late. Still making videos for y'all when I'm supposed to be out right now. Doing what I'm supposed to do. But, you know, it is what it is. I had something that I was supposed to go down tonight with a chick. Fell through. But, hey, it is what it is. I'd rather stay here with y'all. Put out some videos. And chill. Oh, it's not that late. I can go see the, what's that, Triple X thing with uh, Vin Diesel. I wonder if they're going to have him driving a car in there. I need two position drivers. 